So just a really quick video uh, because Visual D-Day 2021 was just re released and uh, just a very quick uh, little intro on the, what I find is the new stuff. New stuff is this splash screen. That's the first thing you see, the new stuff. Well, actually the first thing you see is that the download size is more than twice as big. That probably doesn't matter. And all the program size is the same. That probably doesn't matter these days. It's still very manageable. And then you see this. And uh, this is a new thing where you can actually separate uh, the track into what will be stems, if you do one of them, but other kinds of separations here based on uh, machine learning or AI. And uh, so it's pretty efficient. And of course, it's, this is meant to be great for DJing, for, for mixing when DJing. So you can se you select this when you when you come in. And no matter what you choose, if you choose that to see it again, you can still get to it here. So you can select something here. So right now I've, I've select frequency, which was what called disabled. That's not actually totally disabled. So the next thing you'll see if you, when you load a track, especially on a laptop like mine that doesn't have a, a, a great graphic card, a great GPU, is that it loads in too tempy. It loads fast and you can play it, but then it does some post-processing to figure out all the separation stuff. And then it, but it, it, you can already play it now before it actually starts. So that's fine. And then nothing is basically different. Apart from that, you can see this looks different up here uh, because it's showing other things. You can actually go back to the other ones down here if you want to. But what does this mean then? Well, if you uh, select one of the other outputs over here, um, the other uh, separations of here, like EC Remix, then instead of the usual EQ, you get beat, instrument, and vocal. And now if I play, I can do something like this. Turn down the vocal. Or by going the other way, just bring one thing out, like the beat. So that's of course great for, for mixing, because it's so much easier to do mixes on busy tunes. We have something like that. Say we're going to remove the instruments. So now we have vocals. And we had a beat if there was something down there. We bring it back down. Or oh, just slowly. So now we don't have the beat and the vocals. And we remove the vocals. And just have the beat for maybe doing a mix. Or just the vocals for maybe doing a mix. Like that. So that's just one of the options. I'm not actually going to be mixing anything in this short video. And you had the other options, including full stems, like it says on here. But you actually also have those here as as beat as pads. So that might be even easier. So if you want to do that thing, or you separate vocals, instrument, bass, kick, and hi hat, you can just use these over there. So we bring this back to normal. I'll play print again. Remove the vocals or isolate it by right clicking. Remove the bass and the kick. And now we're back to just vocals. Add the instruments, add the kick drum. Remove the instrument, bring the bass back in. All this kind of stuff. So this is stem space, like you know, from from uh, the thing that the Nathan instruments delivered a few years ago. So that's all about all the new separation features and this double load kind of thing. If you think your laptop is too slow, it doesn't have a GPU, it doesn't have a great graphics card, and you want to disable this, uh, not just by using the old school thing, but totally disabling it, you can go into settings, and you can go down to options, and you can search for math, and then you can actually set that to disabled. Then it's totally turned off and gone back to normal, if you will. Now, if I load the track now, it doesn't have a post-processing, as you can see, it just loads. So that's a way to get back to the way of Visual DJ 2020, if you prefer that, or if your laptop is, is too slow uh, to handle this new stuff. So just a very quick first look.